This ridiculous mess you see before you is two of the three bays in my three car garage. So these two bays I'm going to convert into my new wood shop. There's a lot of work to be done and let me go over some of the challenges that I'm facing at this moment. First off, as you can see, there are no outlets. As a matter of fact, there's only one outlet in this whole garage and it is connected to our external lighting system and so it really can't be used for anything else. So I'm going to have to run electrical into this area and enough electrical in order to run a fully outfitted wood shop. Next, as you'll see, there are only two light bulbs in this whole area. There's a third one down there, but that's actually the third bay that my wife will be using. And they're all connected to the same switch. This is not nearly enough lighting to do any type of meaningful work, especially when it's dark outside. Finally, this wall right here is 24 feet long and it is a shared wall with the house and so directly on the other side of this wall is my family room. On a normal day with with the television under normal volume I can hear it loud and clear in here. And so that means that any tools that will be running in this area will be easily heard inside the living space of the home. So that is something I intend to try to mitigate. So I've done my research online um, and in the past actually in my old shop I already did a lot of research on soundproofing and then in my old house when I built my office I did a lot of research on soundproofing a room um, and the purpose of soundproofing my office was to keep outside noise from coming in so I could hold conference calls and do voiceover work for YouTube without any uh, noise filtering through from normal family life. So now this situation has amped it up quite a bit because I'm going to be using very loud uh, woodworking equipment and I, I'm sharing a wall with the living room right here on the other side of this wall. So what I've devised is a way to not only section off these two bays that I'm turning into my wood shop, but also I'm going to be adding a second wall parallel to this wall with an air gap in between and it'll be completely finished wall um, with sheetrock and insulation and everything with the hopes that that'll help reduce the sound. So before I go into all that, um, I want to do some testing. And so I've got a sound pressure meter. It's very rudimentary. It's on my phone, but it should give us a good uh, point of reference to um, go off of before and after these changes are made. Okay, so the way I intend on trying to keep everything in this little experiment um, consistent is I'm going to use my planer, which is probably the loudest tool I have in the shop. And I'm going to run just this 18-inch uh, 2x4 through it. And I'm only going to take off a 16th of an inch each time. And so I'm going to run it in here with the sound pressure meter um, and then I'm going to run it while I'm in my living room with the sound pressure meter and you'll be able to see exactly how loud it is in each room. And then after I build this wall, um, I'll run it once again in the living room to see if we have any discernible drop in um, noise. Um, you know, this wall isn't cheap, so I'm hoping that it will make a difference. From all, all that I've read, that's what you want to use if you want to try to isolate sound is you, you use mass. And so a big heavy wall with sheetrock attached to it and then filled with uh, insulation try to help with the vibrations that should help uh, knock down some of the noise. And so um, I'm, I'm going to do this project and then the results will be at the end and hopefully we'll see some really good results.
So <clears throat> those were some interesting results that I saw there. Um, inside the garage, the uh, noise level was around 105 decibels, which makes sense because it's a very loud machine. But in the living room, I only got about 65 decibels out of the uh, out of the planer, um, which is nice. I mean, it means that this is a nice, well-built, well-insulated wall, and it knocks the noise down pretty significantly. As a matter of fact, I mean, it knocks it down by about 40 decibels, which is quite a bit. So I still am going to build this wall. I've already got the materials to build it. Um, I know that there's a certain law of diminishing returns, meaning um, it's I'm not going to completely get rid of every bit of noise that I make inside the wood shop. But I'd like to get to a point where at least I could be working in here and my family could be carrying on a normal conversation in the living room um, without being distracted or without the noise getting in the way. And right now the noise level at 65 decibels it's right at, you know, average to loud conversation level for that. And so I'd like to try to knock that down. Even if I get it down another 10 decibels, I think I'd be pretty happy. So we're going to give it a shot.